So we believe, you know, the Viper really is the flagship of the brand. It always has been. The Viper started it all back in 1992, 1993, and it became known as the SRT-10 Viper in 2003. So really, SRT's been around about 10 years, and we formally made it a brand back in June. So the Viper right now is going to be known in the future as the SRT Viper because it so represents what we're all about. Extreme performance, kind of its soul is ever present. It's will willed on by the car guys inside the company for the car guys outside the company. And one thing I want to get, over, get it over with right away is that this vehicle was designed in Auburn Hills by Americans and it'll be built in Detroit. <laughs> the owners told us, if you don't put a clamshell hood on this car, we're not gonna to talk to you anymore, right? So we brought back the clamshell hood and the under hood is beautiful. We really spent a lot of time working on it. The designers were actually working with the engineers to make the under hood beautiful because that's why. Power, so we upped the horsepower by 40 horsepower even though the engine's lighter and more efficient. We have composite intake manifold, which flows a lot better. Total 640 horsepower. But everybody who's driven a Viper knows it's all about torque. So the torque is up considerably, another 40 pounds. But look at the curve, how early the torque comes on. So this car makes more torque at idle than most, mark, most cars make at full RPM. And the Viper is now the, the highest torque output vehicle of any naturally aspirated vehicle.